What's up guys? Welcome back to Trucker's Life. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, welcome back guys. And here we are rolling through Florida Panhandle. Pensacola, Florida to be exact. <laughs> you guys saw how the, uh, the weight station was coming into Florida. They're pulling in all the cars and doing the uh, corn, or the uh, I guess uh, some type of check. I thought they had eased up the on Florida's uh, quarantine thing. I thought people were at beaches and stuff now. I don't know, but you guys saw what happened. They were in there uh, pulling cars in, semi trucks, letting us just go straight on through. So that was good. But, yep, just going over here, the, over the, the bay here. I remember, I don't remember the hurricane. Guys, if y'all remember, comment down below. But I don't remember what hurricane it was, but there was a certain hurricane that, that came through here and destroyed all this, even uh, as far as the bridge. Uh, there for a while, it was like a metal grade bridge uh, because it knocked down the bridge. And if I'm not mistaken, during that hurricane, a uh, driver from South Texas, from uh, down by the border, I think, somewhere in the valley, McAllen, Arlington area, whatever, um, he was uh, driving through here during the hurricane, and uh, the bridge, uh, the bridge was gone, and he didn't know it, and he plunged off into the bay there and uh, ended up passing away. Uh, you know, very, very, very sad situation. May he rest in peace. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just to tell you that some of us, some of us are so responsible with our work that we get ourselves, we can get ourselves into a bad situation very quick. I am at fault at this sometimes, more so. More, more so when I, um, my first part of the, my career, not so much now. Um, I take consideration a lot more now, and I, um, if things, if, if things seem just too dangerous, then I'll just shut her down. Now, uh, was it about a year or two ago, when there was a hurricane that came through here, I was up in uh, Georgia, Atlanta area, and uh, there was a big hurricane coming through then, and I, I kept on going, but it wasn't as bad up there as it was down here, and uh, I was already in it, so I just tried to get as far as the way I could, and I finally got out of it, so there again, you know, sometimes I want to be so... adamant about doing my job and completing my job that I can put myself in harm's way sometimes. I know that that's bad, guys. I shouldn't do that. But uh, more more so now, though, I, I try to be way more considerate with, you know, of course, my life and other people's lives as well. But as you see, today is a beautiful day, and I'm, I know you guys are going to mess with me about my windshield because I caught every bug that I could possibly catch coming through uh, Louisiana, Mississippi. And I didn't stop at a rest there. I mean, I didn't stop at a truck stop. So I haven't been able to stop yet to get that cleaned up. But as soon as I stop, we'll get that cleaned up. Because I know y'all gonna get, get on to me about it. <laughs> Especially this guy right here. <laughs> but yeah, we're just cruising along. Should be we're probably up, pro, probably about uh, six hours away, give or take. So we're doing pretty good. They're pretty good so far. Everything's been smooth so far. So hopefully everything continues to be that way. But we're gonna continue putting in a wind stop. I don't really need diesel yet, but stop a little later, get some diesel, clean the windshield, stop and get some grub because I haven't had breakfast. Uh, not because I don't have breakfast, I just didn't do it. 
So now I'm suffering the consequences. Not like I couldn't skip a meal or two, right? But still, I'm gonna stop here in a little bit and uh, make myself some breakfast real quick. I get those uh, Jimmy Dean, like little Jimmy Dean uh, in there. It's in like a cup, and uh, it has a sausage. I always get the sausage, egg white, and cheese. And then the egg, the egg is, is uh, like a real egg, you know, and you just pour it in there. You open up those little, it comes this, I'll show you guys maybe here a little bit, but it has this little, uh, this little container inside. You open it and you pour the egg in there and then you make yourself a breakfast. So it's actually pretty good. I, I enjoy it. All right, guys. So this is our this is our breakfast. This is what we're gonna do for breakfast today. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Not a paid advertisement by these guys, but they are. It's, it is pretty good. So this is uh, Jimmy Dean's um, uh, turkey sausage uh, uh, scrambler. So um, let me open it up real quick. See if I can do it with one hand. And what we have inside is. Uh, take this off all right so we have the uh, this is the, the real egg right here and this is the uh, sausage and cheese so you just open it up pour that in there open this up pour that in there and then uh, have some breakfast so I like to add I, I like to add um, mushrooms in it but I didn't bring none this time so it's just what it's gonna be, just this right here. So just pour all that in there. Some of you guys probably already had these, but they're actually pretty good. Come on, get all in there. Well, if it ever comes out. Technical difficulties. All right, we got that out. And then you just uh, pour the egg on top. No, it doesn't look very appetizing, but believe me, it's actually pretty good. For a big boy that eats all kinds of things to tell you it's pretty good, it's probably pretty good. Of course, not homemade, but this is what we got on the road, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pop that in our microwave. All right, and there we have it. Good to go. That's what it looks like. I'm going to pour some of this sauce in there I don't even know how strong it is but I can already imagine so we're not gonna pour I made that mistake last time I poured a whole bunch in there Woo -wee. Mm -hmm. slap your mama hot <laughs> all right let's give her y'all ready y'all ready for this y'all ready open y'all's mouth here we go <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Let's see how this sauce is. Reaction to the sauce. Here we go. <coughs> Woo! <coughs> Slap your mama hot right there, boy. <laughs> Dang. But it sure is good though. The flavor's real good on it. Well, I ain't gonna bore y'all with my eating. <laughs> Finish eating <laughs> and uh, put her in the way, guys. Let's do this. Okay, Florida. All right, drivers. I've never seen this before. Okay, Florida. You, uh. <laughs> wow, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Amuse. How to amuse a truck driver. That is pretty cool. Wow, very smart. Why I never knew about this? Cause I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already knew about it. And I was wondering why a truck was stopped here for so long. And now I know why. That is pretty cool. And the windshield is Almost good to go. 
Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I get amused easily, guys. I'm sorry. That is so cool. We'll go back a little bit more. Get a little bit more. A little bit more on the windshield. Almost got her done. Wow. How about that, guys? That is pretty cool. I don't know. How long have them things been up? Comment down below. How long have them things been up? I've never seen them before. I guess I've never paid attention. And then again, I don't come to Florida a lot, but... Good for you, Florida. Good for you. Other states? The rest of you, 47? Well, the lower of the lower 48. The rest of you, 47? Take a note. Take a note on that one. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Alright. Throw a little ball in front of me and I'll be amused for a while. That was amusing for me. That was pretty cool. Did you guys know that? Because I just found out. Well, since I had my entertainment for the day, and then we have, we have a, not a full stomach, not almost a full stomach, food in the stomach, put it that way. <laughs> now that we have that, we can, uh, Relax, turn on some tunes, and put her in the wind because it's a whole lot of nothing the rest of the way. Well, guys, I'm uh, finally here unloading. Getting uh, They're unloading me right now as we speak here. They don't want you to get off uh, to do anything, so you got to stay in your truck. But unfortunately, in situations like this, well, like right now, it's, it's not bad because the weather is actually pretty decent let me see what the temperature is also um so it's 63 degrees outside so it's actually pretty good so it's not bad but i've been here sometimes to load or unload which i'm going to come back here tomorrow to um to reload and uh the the bad part is that sometimes it's like 100 degrees outside 102 degrees outside and the humidity is spiked up and you can't leave your truck running but you have to stay in your truck and if you guys know these trucks get extremely hot so during those situations it really it, it really gets to me i think it gets it's dangerous to me i think it's dangerous because the driver could have a heat stroke inside these trucks but i guess they haven't thought it out or they don't think about it i, I don't know what the thinking is behind it but um some places actually do have like a little designated area and they'll have like a little roof and a fan going or um, they'll have they'll get you put you in a, a driver's room or a room with air condition and all that but um, some places like here they don't have that they make you sit in your truck so it can be extremely dangerous for you know anybody you're you're you can have a heat stroke and die in these trucks but and there's been some studies made and actually some videos made showing how hot a truck actually gets and um, just the word hasn't got out there to the companies or the companies just don't care or they don't, they're not trying to um, nothing has happened in their facility yet uh, unfortunately it's gonna take something to happen you know somebody passing out having to go to the hospital or Unfortunately, the worst thing is dying inside the truck um, because sometimes these truck these these people take and I'm not talking down on anybody, but it's just the awareness. Um, sometimes these people uh, take two to three hours to load or unload, and that's the whole time that you're sitting in your truck. Um, you know, rolling down the windows even doesn't help sometimes. But um, fortunately today for me that the weather is actually pretty. It's actually pretty good. A little breeze going through, so I got my windows open. 
Um, I closed my back window so nobody can say I'm recording inside the facility, like the process areas. So you can't see through that little window. I know it's not much, but I'm just trying to take care of everybody involved in this situation. <laughs> Myself, really. <laughs> so nobody will say that uh, that I'm recording inside their facility or any other process centers, I guess. Um, not inside of the facility, but the process centers. So, yeah, those are just my, my thoughts on how these companies need to pay more attention to, to stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been happening for years, and call me a crybaby, whatever you want to call, call me, but uh, I don't want to die in this truck in, uh, with heat stroke, or I don't want to know that another driver died because of heat stroke. Um, it, it can get extremely hot in here. Those of you that are not truck drivers, and especially with, with these uh, darker trucks, that's the thing about these trucks, like the darker colored trucks, you know, like this, you can almost consider it black at, at times, and it just draws that heat in like big time so white they say is the best color to repel to to repel the heat so unfortunately i don't really like white because <laughs> i had a white freightliner and i hated it because it used to it, it i just don't like the way it looked but uh so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh finish unloading and then head to savannah really and then we might go find something to get into over there might not depending on the situation um it doesn't look good there's this one spot that i love to hang out and uh but i don't think i can go there because of, i think the parks are all closed or or not or something like that but it's not really a park it's really a boat ramp and i just love i made a video uh, i'll probably link the video uh, up here or down here <laughs> and um that's one of my favorite places to go hang out and uh, when I'm in Savannah, but unfortunately, probably can't do that. And what else? Or I might just pick up my pick up my trailer if they have it ready, drop this dirty, pick up a clean, and then go ahead and head back down to this area. Um, I don't think you can spend a night here because they're so busy. They got trucks coming in and out. So I don't think you can spend a night here, but um, probably stay at a TA or something that's right down the road and then come load tomorrow and then head down to Florida so still working guys we're still working thank God we're still working the, the tires are still rolling and and uh, you know the loads aren't paying as good but they're still we're still making money that's what's important so let's see what we get into a little later and uh, yeah let's do, <laughs> let's go